Hello, welcome to channel uh, River Fishing. We are here to enjoy with you fishing on the rivers. Today we are fishing at the River of Tornio. It's a mighty river, more than 500 kilometers between Finland and Sweden. And we hope to catch here salmon and grayling. But uh, if God wishes, we can catch it. Many times we catch uh, birds or pike. And the idea is that you enjoy it with us and perhaps have some hints how to do it. We are not the real pros, but uh, we've done, uh, well, uh, I've been doing it for about more than 40 years, so I know something about it. So enjoy. So here's our boat to go to the rapids. We will go just a little bit to the rapids. We are rowing and then up we come with the motor. And here's the rapid what it looks like. And let's hope that we can get some fish. So here we are now, hoping to catch grayling this time. Let's see if there's something coming. So grayling fishing is going on. We have three flies, single flies, two big fish and one small one. But they are not eating that well. It's perhaps a bit too early. As you can see, there are no flies. Normally when the grayling is eating well, there should be flies flying all around. Now oh, there's coming. That should be a quite big one. I suppose it's a grayling. Yeah, it's quite a big one. Yeah. Coming nicely. And we then we take. Ah, oh, okay. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, Se oli ihan auki eikä mikään harri näköjään sittenkin. No kyllä, tuosta aivan hyvä tulee tuostakin. So it was not the grayling, it was a pike. But well, that's a quite okay pike. We can prepare that one too. I'll see you tomorrow. And here you can see the red orange. Uh, small fish or wobbler which we used last night to catch this grayling this was the best color last night black or other colors were not sure working that well so yesterday we were lucky we got some nice grayling that was this time uh, it was eating grillings, they were eating very late, about 11, 12 o'clock in the night. Uh, normally they eat between 6 and 9 at this river, so that's why we were not before so lucky, but this one is quite nice. Now we are going to smoke it for that. I put some sea salt into water, about one liter water, and then one, two, three spoons of sea salt and then we make cuts in the grilling with a good knife and then we go to the smoking place okay now we are ready to smoke the fish we have this grilling middle size grilling and two nice uh, perches too I'm going to make cuts here so that the meat will be prepared better 
not only the surface but also inside the fish before of course I have cleaned the fish taken out of the all inside and outside too here we make, make the cuts and of course both sides this has two sides as we know like this perch was quite nice must be more than half a kilo and the last one this is how we prepare normally grayling and perches and sometimes pike too but pike is a bit uh, dry and we use juniper also to put in the box I will soon show the box but first we put the fish here in the smoking structure and this then we put the sea salt water first time like this other side too and uh, this we also make in the middle of the smoking session we take the fish out and put the seawater there and all it takes about 45 uh, minutes one hour and then it is ready now we take the fish this is our smoking box made of stainless steel the juniper there some people use also some sugar but I prefer just juniper juniper and then this inside we put the lid and there's a fire underneath oh should be burning better what's that hey okay but if there's a good fire it takes about 45 one hour then it's ready so now there's a nice fire underneath the smoking box and now we just uh, enjoy life put some uh, salt water about half an hour from this moment and then once still when it is finished and then we can enjoy it we'll see it soon and now our fish are ready we can have a competition which is better tasting grayling or perch actually they are, I like them both and you see the nice color uh, golden color coming from juniper we enjoy and here's how nice cats first cast today a nice pike about uh, at least five kilos or more and it came with a small wobbler it's a copper copper and black wobbler and of course it was uh, the lightest rod <laughs> but nice catch so this is really nice pike but five kilos we will be weighing it soon yeah, nice beast. Huh? <laughs> so it's about six and a half kilos, as you can see from there. Nice beast. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, that's our biggest uh, pike for the moment. Well, this seems to be a good day for pikes today. There was a thunderstorm in the night and still there are some thunder in there and pikes are really big pikes are really crazy and this time we got the one with this wobbler looks like a perch uh, really uh, this one was really fighting well this in this arctic river these pikes are fighting really well i thought it was a salmon but well it was a big pike again we'll see how many kilos it is So this one's a bit bigger than the last one. This is 70 kilos, but 15 pounds then. Quite a nice one too. So it's a beautiful evening at Tonio River. Water was sinking. 
or the level going down and we were fishing salmon today and the result was quite nice can you show me the quite nice not the beast one but quite nice two and a half kilos and that we had with the copper colored wobbler which is uh, here and as you can see it is directly knotted on the line there is nothing between uh, uh, no metal locking systems there that's how it goes and that will be tasty uh, we will smoke that tomorrow and put some on salt salma salad today we are participating in a salmon and grayling fishing competition here at the Tornio river the biggest salmon and biggest grayling will win We'll see how big will the biggest one be. We have today three rods, two wobblings and one metal spoon. And one really smaller one. There's also a smaller one there for grayling. We'll see if we are the winners or how big will the biggest salmon be. Normally this competition has been won here about salmon about 12 kilos. Now there's one competitor fighting with the fish and we'll see if it's a big one now, it's coming there with the pike or salmon ah, Not yet Has... What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Tuossa kalaa mulla jo sitten osaa iskitä, mutta